Hi guys, I'm Dutine here and I'm on my way to work. It's a, a little bit of rush hour traffic. Uh, I'm not late. Oh, maybe I am. I'm, 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 I, need, I, need to make, I need to make some photocopies or something. I went to a photocopying place near my house and then they're like, oh, we don't do copyright books. And I'm like, since when? Which is just more proof that this isn't China. They don't, you know. In China, no foreigner has ever won a copyright case. What is this car doing? No foreigner has ever won a copyright uh, case in China ever, you know, and, and China is known, they constantly steal copyrights, they, st they constantly uh, uh, reverse engineer things and remake them for cheaper and, and crappier. Like, if you have an item that you want produced, you're an idiot if you take the China to get produced because what happens is if it's a, a unique item, like something that's new to the world, and you, and you mass produce it in China, the company that produces it will produce it for you, but they're also going to produce it under a different name and sell it as competition against you, you know? Or if they don't do it themselves, they'll sell the patents to, like, the, the company down the street. Like, they just screw you. They, 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 they try to figure out every possible way to make money off of whatever it is, whatever patent it is you gave them. And I've gotten this information from a guy who was doing just that. He was getting uh, stuff manufactured. Taiwan is the way to go. In Taiwan, they actually care about your uh, trust. Yeah, they care about your trust. They care about you. Uh, I've got other. I got another video. Where I talk about that. It's like Taiwan versus China. China manufacturing or something. Anyways, if you're interested in that, go check that out. Um, what that guy do? Just swung at somebody. Yeah, friends. Um, yeah, so uh, I'm doing a quick life update. It's my birthday this upcoming Saturday. Uh, I got another video where I show early birthday present. It wasn't actually a birthday present. It was just I was chatting with uh, a, f a viewer online and I mentioned that I needed a new keyboard. Uh, like I totally, it was just conversational wise. I was just like, how do you clean it? How do you, because he, he works at a computer place and I was like, how do you clean the keyboard? I was thinking about, I was just thinking about buying some of that green sticky stuff that you put on and then you peel it off and it takes the dirt with it. And I was, I was asking him, does that stuff work? And he's like, I don't know, man, just take the key. Anyways, I explained that in the other video. So, other than that, I think the first person to even mention my birthday, and birthdays for me are a pretty big deal. Uh, I haven't had a good birthday in six or seven years. Oddly enough, that's... That's the, that's the entire time I was married. <laughs> it's just a coincidence, though. Um, I, like, not only have I not had a good birthday in seven years, I haven't had a birthday where I haven't cried in seven years. And I'm a little bit superstitious, and Chinese superstition says that on days like Chinese New Year and your birthday, um, what happens to you that day kind of represents what will happen to you in the following year. So the fact that I've been like, <laughs> like super depressed every birthday, it could, according to Chinese superstition, be giving me nonstop bad luck for seven years. So, so yeah. So I need to. I, so I'd like to have a good birthday for once. And um, where, where am I going with this? Oh yeah, the first person to mention my birthday was a guy named Craig. A shout out to Craig. Like about over, like a, I don't know, like a month, month and a half ago, he just like, oh, your birthday's coming up in a, in a, in a you know, six weeks, seven weeks, whatever. He's, he's like, you, what, you got any plans? And I'm like, no, I just, I just don't want to cry. <laughs> I, uh, I, yeah, I, I, my original plan was to go for a motorcycle trip. I was, I was going to go away by myself and, um, just do a, just, just ride somewhere and, and, and stay in a nice hotel. And that was, that was my plan. And then, that plan, and I've had that, I've honestly had that plan for the last two years. Because that, that was my plan for my last birthday, because I wanted to spend it away from you know who. And, uh, and then I broke both my legs a month before my birthday. So it, that, <laughs> I wasn't able to go on the ride. So for two years I've been wanting to do this, and then the plan changed just like two, three weeks ago, because I was, I was talking to my son, and I said I just want to spend my birthday by myself, and then I was like, that's not true, because I'm happiest, truly, truly happiest when I'm with him. So I thought, okay, yeah, well, I, I want to spend it with you, and if I can't spend it with you, then I'll spend it by myself. And uh, I talked to his mother, and she generously okayed everything, and 
I'm gonna get to spend this upcoming, I spend every weekend with them, but usually just the Saturday. Uh, maybe, yeah, Saturday, and then maybe a little bit on Monday, like a day and a half. But this, this weekend, I'm gonna get them for, their, for like, for two and a half days. I'm gonna pick them up Friday night, and then first thing Saturday morning, we're gonna hop on a, a high-speed train and head down south, where it's warmer. And we're gonna stay at this uh, a really cool resort. I've never been there before. It's called uh, Ita. I don't know if my tones are right. It's like Ida or Ida. I don't know. It's called the Ida. E dash D A. You can Google it. E dash D A. And it is a. Uh, it's a whole. It's a. It's a. It's a. It's a Disneyland type place. It's a. It's a theme park, combined with a mall like a giant mall and a theme park that are sight touching one another and it's got two hotels on the property so it's just like it's it, to me that's just so awesome it's i love theme parks and i love malls and i like hotels um so you, you stay you get to live like in a shopping mall next to a theme park and they've got two hotels there one is four stars and one is five stars the four star one was sold out, so I, I booked the five star. And uh, yeah, and then the, the, I'm gonna use the money that the Steven, Steven sent to, to pretty much pay for the weekend. It got a package deal, it was cheaper. It, it includes uh, the high speed rail, which isn't cheap, because I'm doing the entire length of the country on a, high, on a bullet train. To take the bullet train, like one stop is like five bucks, which is cheap. Like if you're going to Taipei or something, you just five bucks and boom, you're in Taipei eight minutes later. Uh, but to go the entire length of the country, it's, it's I think it's like 50 bucks. And that's just one way. So you're a hundred bucks just for the train. But I got the hotel room and the train tickets combined. So it works out pretty cheap, especially considering it's a five-star hotel. So yeah, I'm super excited about this. Uh, I've never been there before. Um, I, I haven't done painkillers for a while because uh, I wanted to get clean before my birthday. And some of you are thinking, oh, oh that's good, you're going to be clean for your birthday. No, 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 no. I wanted to get clean before my birthday so that way on my birthday I could get, it, I could get high as fuck and really feel the high because, <laughs> you know, the longer you don't do something and then when you do, and plus it's, you know, I, I plan on, it's a mall and a theme park. I will be walking more than my uh, limit. And my limit is like two hours. I walk for two hours and then, and then my legs like, they cramp up and they get like, yeah, it's bad. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm gonna be walking eight hours a day, I'm sure, for both those days, so. But yeah, the whole opiate thing is, 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 a, is a positive side effect. But yeah, but it was nice because, I, like I said, I got clean uh, before my birthday, like this last couple of weeks, and uh, I didn't have I didn't have any negative side effects. Um, so, you, which leads me to believe that I wasn't actually addicted to begin with, not physically, maybe just a little mental. Um, yeah. So that's it. That's the update. Uh, it's my birthday this Saturday. I got a few things. I got a shirt coming up. I sh I'll try to get on that like tomorrow. It's such an awesome idea. I came up with an awesome idea for a shirt and it's cool and it's funny and it's like, and it's not just funny, funny. It's like funny, 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 funny. It's like four funnies. Like other funny shirts have maybe one funny. Mine's like four. Honestly, uh, you'll see it. And it's cool. Like it's, 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 a, it's a comedic, most, and like a lot of comedic shirts, like when you're buying a shirt with a design on it, you either have to choose, do I want like a cool design, something that looks cool, or do I want something funny, like just some text that has like a bit, that has some humor to it. But then that's not cool looking, it's just a cheesy joke. My shirt is 100% cool looking, like just the design and, and, uh, and there's no actual lettering on it per se. And then the joke factor is really funny. And uh, so it's got both combined. It's it's, it's honestly like it, I'm I'm gonna buy multiple pairs of it myself that I, that I will wear like all the time because it's a, a lot of my other past shirts that I've that I've designed. Although I thought they were cool, I didn't even get one myself. But with this shirt, it's the bomb. <laughs> anyway, so keep an eye open for that. And I'm gonna end this video. I'm I'm uh, I'm high on caffeine. I just I just drank like 
60 milligrams, 60, 200, about 120 milligrams of caffeine right before I got on my scooter. Okay. Talk to you guys later and thank you for everything.